what's good guys welcome back to the channel it's the end of the year it is December 24th it is uh, Christmas Eve <clears throat> came to the shop hang out for a little bit just kind of doing some brainstorming and and some reflecting throughout uh, these last uh, couple years uh, looking over the channel and seeing what you guys like and what you guys don't like uh, so we're just gonna make it simple and we are gonna do a review of the channel and uh, show you guys uh, our growth uh, we're, we're moving we're moving slowly um, I know I'm not a hot busty female that be getting all kinds of likes and showing my butthole on here uh, unless you guys are into that stuff i mean just put it in the comment oh, yeah. um, i got something you guys might like so did you know that overweight men last about seven minutes and 18 seconds while making love yes i'm gonna keep that stored away uh as a secret weapon just in case it doesn't pop off then i'm gonna have to <laughs> break in case of emergency to get the get this channel back on track so right now we'll just go over our what we got so uh, we started it September 5th 2020 uh, we got about 8300 views uh, and a lot of those views are because of you guys and uh, a special shout out to you for making this happen and uh, for coming back and uh, <clears throat> donating some of your time to check out what we got um, we do want to step up production we do want to step up the content uh, so 2023 we are gonna put out some bangers um, so according to the videos the most popular ones are the ones of my Land Rover um, you guys are really into the, the build setups and the overlanding um, hopefully we can get into doing some camping um, and I I think I'm shadow banned on here I don't really know too much about it other than it is a thing so it might be due to my politics and what I like on the back end uh, I really don't know but I mean it is what it is so we're just gonna keep putting out the content I'm not getting paid for it I do this a hundred percent for free and for fun and for the love of just doing it and and I, I'm doing it for me to, to you know one day I'll be on my deathbed and I would like to be able to go back and um, check out my uh, highlight reel and and, and see where I've been and where I've, how far I've come. So uh, that's what I'm doing it for, but I'm doing it for, for a good time. I love it. And if you guys get to enjoy it, let's enjoy it together. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna get back to doing more of the automotive content. It seems to be what you guys like. It seems to be what I like to do. Um, we just, I just been going through a lot of like <clears throat> family issues and you know, I lost my pops uh, a few months back. So, uh, we're getting back into the swing of things. Uh, we got the shop here dialed in. We got the new machine, uh, direct to film machine hooked up. Uh, we are actually, um, above that room. The room is, uh, down here. We are standing. So I built the, that little loft up that they were in. So uh, we're gonna get down there and show you what we got going on. Maybe get a game plan going. I do have the diesel heater that I am gonna work on. Um, I'm gonna weld up the little grill for it, um, for the air filter. So we'll walk you through what we got going down there. So we're getting back to the, the content that you guys like, that you guys enjoy, and that you guys come back for. So uh, it's gonna be fun, look forward to that. Uh, let's get downstairs. There she is. We gotta get these vehicles out of here too. We got landlord finally said something. <laughs> Fuck. So we 
got a dead battery in this rover. Bought an Odyssey battery for it and it stuffed it in here. Moved the car, parked it for a few days and the battery went completely dead. Uh, I took it back to AutoZone so we can get it uh, recharged and we couldn't because it it died. So I warranty exchanged it. We got a new battery. Uh, but I think the alternator is messed up. Um, it's acting like uh, the same issue that I had uh, with my white disco, which happened to be that some of the diodes in the alternator took a shit and um, and uh, and it was slowly uh, killing the battery until they went completely dead so um now we're just going to turn on the car so we can um run the oil and all the fluids through it and then i am going to uh disconnect the battery uh when i park it so yeah let's get another battery in for a few months finally got her started nice all right so this disco here has got a rebuilt 4.6 in it uh, completely serviced all the diffs trans uh, t-box we done god what else have we done uh, we placed the bearings, the brakes, all the diff. Now we, we got to replace the shocks. Uh, we got to do the bushings. The bushings have been, uh, been hammered since we, uh, really took it off-roading. But, uh, we're going to step all that up here shortly. Um, I'm going to get a list of everything that I need so we can finish it. Uh, I want to get this thing done hopefully in the next couple months so there is going to be a lot of content uh, as far as building it so I think today we just want to get her warmed up get the juices flowing uh, again and um, we are going to get the diesel heater uh, filter housing welded up today so it's just a small little frame that I got to do um, just to kill some time for uh, it's time to go to Din Din with the family. So right now, let's just get this uh, let's get this warmed up, and uh, we we'll get our legs stretched out, and then uh, we'll get this thing built. All right, we got a coolant leak. This disco here is my overlanding disco, or my camping disco, or my mini camper, or my adventure mobile, whatever you want to call it. It is replacing my old brown uh, disco that I had. Let's see if the AC works on this bitch. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of work that still needs to get done. Um, still got the water tank that we got to do uh throw back in there we got the diesel heater in we are going to use the factory rear ac ducking uh on this vehicle this vehicle is an se it's not an sc7 so it never had rear ac but uh the previous owner must have had some uh a leak in uh, one of these sunroofs because it looks like they jb welded it because this is the drain. There's supposed to be one on this side, I'm guessing. Yeah, and there's not, so they plugged it up. 
Anyways, it must have leaked, damaged the headliner, got rid of it, got a new headliner, but I think the one that they got was for a SE7, so it had the vents um, just taped onto it or glued to it, but it didn't have the ducking underneath. Luckily for me, I have an SE7, which is my white one, and um, uh, that one, I took the ducking out because there's really nobody that sits in the back, back seats. Um, so when I find uh, SC7 ducking, I'm going to put it back in my white one to complete it. Um, I didn't want to keep them running and working 100%, so I'm trying to keep at least the white one in uh, factory condition as much as I can. Uh, so this green one is is going to be built for off-roading and just fucking it up. So the AC doesn't work. Uh... So yeah, this is this is this is it. We still gotta we added our our lights that we made. So we gotta wire it's already wired up. We already ran all the wire. So here's all the wires to all the different things that uh, go to the back. So it's pretty much wired in now. So now we just gotta we just gotta put it all back together. So I think uh, next week I'm gonna go down to Shore Metals and hand them my plans for the water tank, and I'm just gonna have them cut me two. Two, I'm gonna have them cut and bend two of them for me and then that way I can weld them and then we can finish that corner panel that way I can finally put the bed platform in here um, and get that uh, get that thing fitted and um, ready to So we'll get it fitted and uh, ready to go. And then we're gonna order, um, I have the locker on, shit. Feel the I can hear the springs fucking settling in.
Merry Christmas, guys. December 25th. We made it to Jesus' birthday. Hope you guys are celebrating it with all your loved ones. I am at the shop today. We are messing around with the diesel heater. I'm trying to get this thing wrapped up. We have to move our cars. The blazer over there, and we got the disco. We got to get them out of here. So, what better time than to start working on them and to get them out? So, last night I ended up welding our uh, fuel tank for the diesel heater. What I ended up doing was uh, grabbed a piece of 3x3 three three steel. Uh, I got a plate and welded up all the plugs. So, hopefully, that worked. And then I welded it all the way around. I JB welded this piece here. Uh, I should have welded it, but I didn't have my welder at the time, so I thought it would be a good idea to JB weld it. So we're going to find out. Hopefully that works. Uh, but this is the first one, so this is probably going to be a prototype. Um, this is probably going to leak, and these plastic fittings, they're for fuel, but I don't know how well they're going to handle the diesel. Um, and then I, I put them really close to the edge where I welded it. And if there is going to be a problem, it's going to be there. Um, but we're going to keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope that that's, that's, not the, that's not the case. And uh, also keep our fingers crossed that the JB weld will hold up to the diesel fuel uh, vapors and all that junk. So we're going to pour some water in here and see how bad she leaks. All right. All right, we got a few leaks we got to take care of. Seems to be leaking from these holes, which I can see why. And then down here, same thing. So the welding, we did pretty good on the welding. There's only like two spots that we missed, but we're gonna go over it and uh, hopefully plug those up, put some diesel fuel. Let's get the diesel heater fired up. Um, and then we can work on the exhaust because the problem that we're having is the exhaust pipe that I have is too long. We got to shrink it down and it's got to go through the plastic hard case. So we'll find out exactly uh, what it's going to take to make that happen. So right now, let's just plug this up and then uh, we'll take the next step. Well, good news. It's not leaking from the breather in the inlet. So that's that's exciting. So it looks like it's leaking from here. All right, guys, I got a little carried away. Um, memory card got full, so I had to delete some files. So here's what we got. I got pretty much 90% of it done. The only thing that's left is to secure uh, the heater and the tank uh, in the box. So that's, that's nothing. So right now I'm gonna go head down to the gas station, pick up some diesel fuel. Put it in. So this is our tank. We tested it. Uh, no leaks as of now, which is good. Uh, we got the air filter in here. I made the little frame for it. That's dialed in. The exhaust is dialed in there. So I'm gonna go get the fuel, turn it on, crank it up as hot as I can, and uh, we'll see uh, if there's any um, like weaknesses. Um, so we can work on those and uh, figure out an alternative or say uh, eh, ah. figure out an alternative or a solution to uh, get it to work so let's head to the gas station and uh, pump, pump some diesel in here We got it hooked up to the rover right now. We got 12 volts to it. So now we are going to do its first fire up in this box and we are going to um, test the capabilities and figure out where, where it's gonna go wrong. So right now we're gonna power it up. Power it up to 12 volts. Oh, 
shit, it's on. Let me open up the gas line here. It's moving, it's moving. It's gonna be firing up here pretty soon. Faster. Oh, all right so the rest of this clip I'm fumbling around trying to figure out what's going on with it uh, it ended up being that uh, the diesel heater is broken or it has a leak um, it's leaking diesel and it's coming out of the vents um, and uh, it seems like it's leaking inside the chamber. So I got to take it apart and figure out where it's leaking and if I can fix it. And I've had this diesel heater for more than a year just sitting around. So um, more than likely uh, it's not in warranty. So when I closed the box, what ended up happening is created a vacuum and it, it threw the whole tune off. It, it lowered the, the airflow. So I tried taking the vent off, um, trying to see if that worked and it still had the same issue. Uh, and then it started spitting out nothing but like uh, black smoke. So I know that uh, the tune in the chamber is way off. Uh, the air mixture is totally fucked. So um, yeah, so I, I think it, it still can work um we just got to make a few modifications so i'm going to try to put a different maybe a filter something with more airflow or possibly um putting in another air filter in there uh, hopefully to get some more um, airflow so i do want the air to be filtered that would be great because if not then you're just going to get an outside dust so this diesel heater uh is for the outside of um, the vehicle or it can be used as a ground tent just run a long cord or if you have a jackery or a power box uh, to it <clears throat> so it's going to be able to set up multiple different ways but i do want it uh, to function and to have filtered air so if possible uh, i know it could be done we just got to do a little more r d work so we got pretty far for what uh for our first time so now that we narrow, narrowed down the issue now it's time to 
uh, address those things and hopefully we'll hopefully the results will change and uh, we can get it to work the way that we want to so um, I think for now I'll just tear it apart and we'll see what's up so uh, I think that's gonna do it for this episode guys um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe there's gonna be more content like this uh, we're just like I said I did a channel review and it seems like you guys like uh, all of the jerry rig builds that <laughs> I end up getting into so uh, we're not completely writing this build off as a bust. Uh, we're just going to bust our ass to get it to work. So uh, back to the drawing boards. Um, it's not a loss. Uh, we, we're just narrowing down uh, our options. Uh, so, yeah. All right, guys. Catch you guys later. Hopefully I can bust out another video before the New Year's. So that's a few more days. Um, I still got to do a video on the direct to film machine. So hopefully if I'm not too busy this weekend, I can bust one out for you guys. So I'll catch you guys later. You guys have a good one. Be safe out there. Peace.